Welcome to Denmark, a country of democracy and freedom, a country that prides itself on knowledge as one of our finest export commodities. That's what we would like to believe. But the reality is often quite different. Recently, there has been a lot of news coverage of the lousy security around the computer systems governing the Danish CPR numbers. The data centers operated by the company CSC was compromised, and as a result several million full identities, including full names and CPR numbers, were lifted from the databases within. The government was quick in turning the attention towards the resources being invested in finding and prosecuting the culprits behind the heist and thus little room was left for debating the real problem. The immense lack of security around the systems that should have protected our private information. Fast forward a bit. A young man creates a website called the CPR Lottery to draw attention to the fact that another very serious flaw exists in the security around the CPR register. Anyone can use sign-up forms connected to the CPR database to figure out the person's full CPR number. The site did not per se disclose full CPR numbers, and was a creative and harmless way to bring attention to the core of the problem. A few days ago, this young man was charged by the government, and if found guilty, will be liable to pay an unproportionately large fine. This will not do. The scapegoating has to stop so we can fix the real problem. In the society we believe we live in, the companies implementing lousy security should be held liable, not the people standing on the vanguard for the better of us all. The method used to obtain any person's CPR number is astoundingly simple. Here is a small program that will use one of the many flaws in the CPR system's security to obtain any person's full CPR number in around 5 to 10 minutes. This was made in a few hours, and it is so simple to exploit these flaws that anyone with basic computer skills could have written the program. Hopefully the flaw that this program utilizes will be closed quickly. The problem is that there is many, many more systems this method could be used against. Alternative versions were implemented and found working against other systems. The code is out there now. Anyone can find anyone else's CPR number 